Jeff Johnson here from Game On, your source for gaming news and talk, and I am joined once again. It's happening again. We've got Blaze Dobson joining Yay! me. Yay! Blaze, another year of Calgary Expo done. What do you think about your experience this year? The most epic one to date. Well, that's good to hear. I, I've heard it was a good year for a number of different reasons, but I guess take me through that big highlight, that big moment for you. I went into the Parade of Wonders in Spawn costume, which I was not going to do Spawn this year, but then they had to announce Todd McFarlane. Yeah, Todd McFarlane was there. Uh, and you got a chance to actually meet, meet the meet. man himself. Yes, I was in Spawn costume in Parade of Wonders, and he announced it, and then he saw me, because I made an effort to run to the stage in Spawn costume. He saw me, he pointed it out to me. Which, I think you can see that in some video somewhere on YouTube, or some hacked video, or whatever. And then, I was just sitting there, you know, BSing with some people, and then all of a sudden, Tom McFarlane comes up to me, he's like, I want a selfie with you! Dude, I saw you from stage, we have to do a selfie! Yes! I remember that! He said that? Yeah. Oh, really? I did not hear that part. But then again, I was too busy geeking out to really, to really uh, understand half the things he was saying. At that point, your mind was in that red alert stage of just like, Todd McFarlane's here. Todd McFarlane. Oh, yes. That was the highlight. And then I had to stand in line for three hours for an autograph with him. Yeah, let's talk about this. So... Not only did you have a chance to meet him at the uh, Expo Parade Grounds at the final part of it, you got a selfie with him, he talked to you, he complimented the costume, but then you went and stood in line forever. Well, I wanted to get an autograph when I met him, but he kind of wanted me to wait until then. And I guess that's fair. I mean, you got to make it fair for everybody, unlike the whole celebrity fast past system oh boy well can we say i guess i can say it you can it say pissed it. me off yes you can say whatever you want about this system because there's more than people more than you who are complaining about the whole celebrity fast pass issue see i had no problem i get it but the problem with tom mcfarlane was okay he was giving autographs for free which awesome yeah but his rule was you know two at a time Fair enough. But then the celebrity pass passes would go. They get something for Tom McFire on the sign. Go in, bump in front of everyone, go back, and get some more stuff from for him. Once or twice, two times is okay. Maybe three times. But when there was people that were going in seven or eight, that's overkill. And yeah. that was, you know, kind of abusing the system, in my opinion. Well, this is it. And just so people understand what's going on, the Celebrity Fast Pass system is this system where you can basically bypass any line. You pay an obscene amount of money to get this, but you get to bypass any line from any other fan so that you can get in ahead of them to get autographs done, to, if I'm right, to get into panels early. And, I, I mean... Don't... I don't know about the panels. I, I think the panels are part of it, too. Yeah. But the th fact is, as Blaze was mentioning, this is a case where you had people just abusing the system. And it's something they need to crack down on, Calgary Expo itself. Yeah. I mean, I could, I get it. You know, if they went in, you know, a nut, if they went in, you know, two, maybe three times, I would have been okay with that. I can't speak on anyone else. But there were people that were going in seven or eight times in a day. And it got to a point where Todd actually, where I read online that Todd actually got angry and actually he requested no celebrity fast passes. And Expo said that no, and so they, they did crack down apparently the last day. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, this is something they should have had rules established for right from the get-go. But they didn't, and this is something they'll hopefully learn from. Oh, yeah. Well, I think they will, because Emily Expo is cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, I finally saw her in person for the first time ever. Yeah, she's really cool to talk to, that's for sure. Now, over the course of the whole Expo weekend, like you mentioned, you did Spawn on the Friday, because Todd McFarlane, but you also had a number of other costumes. Yep. 
First time doing four. Last year I did three, and it was going to be three again this year, but then Todd McFarlane had to come. But but that was my highlight. Um, first day was Lex Luthor, which supposedly my kryptonite was a dildo, <laughs> according to everybody. And by the way, Justin Ball at Big and Tall Gaming got a video about that. Yes, I'm giving you credit for the fact that you said it was a dildo on your show. <laughs> um, and then I dressed up as Spawn the next day on Friday in the Parade of Wonders. And then I was uh, Rocksteady again on Saturday, and Rocksteady was in the costume contest. Yeah, I guess take me through that. I mean, we've talked about the Rocksteady costume. We've done videos of the Rocksteady costume on the channel as well, some fun ones. And now Rocksteady makes his return, but actually goes on stage. It was great, minus the fact that my music didn't get played. I heard there was issues. <laughs> but I still enjoyed myself. And I didn't think I'd win, but I'm not in it to win every time I go there. I just, I go there to have fun. Um... I haven't decided if I'll go to the costume contest next year. But I don't think any of my costumes are returning except for the other one I haven't mentioned, which is Mario. Yeah, so, I mean, we had a wide variety there. You had, I mean, comic book uh, comic book villain, comic book anti-hero, comic book villain, and a video game hero. So, there you go. Well, the reason that Mario got in was because I said that any, for Extra Life Game Day... If uh, whoever got voted the cosplays I was going to do, that would also go to Expo. And Mario was the winner. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to return as Mario next year as a zombie version of Mario. That sounds like fun. I just had an idea out of the blue. I was like, hey, you know what can make the Mario costume interesting? If I make it a zombie version. So I decided the next year it's going to be a zombie version. You see, one thing I have to say, with all the different cosplay elements and all the different costumes I saw this weekend, and seeing you go all out with four costumes, I have to say, I've the, the gears have been turning. I've been thinking of different ideas to try out, and may see some new costumes coming for me one of these days. <laughs> see, I look at the cosplays, and I see a lot of common ones, like, prime example, multiple Deadpools. Mm. And I don't like the idea of going... With a costume that's going to be a regular one. Like, I mean, the only one that was a popular regular one was Mario. And so that's why you don't really see me in a lot of, you know, common costumes. I I don't know. I just, I think it's different to be, I think it's great to be different. It If I, if you know what I mean. Oh, no, I get what you're saying there. I mean, this year I went as Fred Flintstone and Wario. And while Wario is starting to get a little bit more common, when do you see a Fred? Uh, never. Well, exactly. It would have been better if your entire family went as the Flintstones. You gotta give it time. I only brought I brought the little ones, and this was Shayla's first expo. So, I mean, you get, you gotta work your way into it. I caused my play my first expo. That's right, you did. <laughs> yes, my first expo I was Spawn. And then the next one, it was Spawn again. And then I uh, did the three last year, and then I did the four this year. And honestly, very well worth it to do a costume every day there. Uh, so we've seen four spawns. I mean, like, we've seen spawn each of the times you've gone now. Are we seeing a break from spawn now? For good. Yes, well, I shouldn't say for good, but we are seeing a break from spawn. Because I was going to do that this year, but because Todd McFarlane. Although, next year I'm going to do Clown. Yeah, so that'll be a fun one. We've heard Clown, we've heard Zombie Mario. Sounds like you've got some good ideas. Uh, next year, I've already decided. I decided before our expo, I'm going to do Clown, because I've wanted to do Clown for a while. I'm going to do Zombie Mario, because that just came, out, came to my head out of the blue. I'm going to do Casey Jones, because I've been wanting to finish that costume for a while. And the last one I'm going to do, the other one, and I'm going to do Gorilla Grodd from... Uh, from the, the Flash cartoon, from the Flash comics. So it sounds like you've got your work ahead of you pretty cut out for you. Oh yeah, well, not really. I mean, Casey Jones is almost done. Uh, I guess Zombie Mario is just add makeup. Add makeup, have some rips in the clothing, and kind of act brain dead. So, like Mario? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Clown will be a little bit more difficult. Well, all I gotta do is get a fat suit and then a whole bunch of, you know, overweight clothing. And, and then I gotta get some makeup. Yeah, that'll be fun. So, I guess then, like you mentioned for yourself, this was the best experience you've had doing the whole cosplay with Expo. I guess, it's hard to say, but do you think you'll be able to top it? Um, probably. My... Uh, my cosplaying is, has gone up over the years. Um, <clears throat> I don't have the spawn one, which I did a boat on the internet. It was basically neck and neck with Rocksteady and Spawn. I like Rocksteady. It's a fun one. Oh, yeah. It's fun and it's simple, and I wish I had a Bebop. <laughs> Maybe one of these years. We'll see. Hint, hint. That's <laughs> a hint. If I, if I take out one of my costumes and replace a Rocksteady, that's a hint. Hint, hint. I understand your hint. And funny, th actually, Bebop wears glasses, so yeah. that actually works out a little bit easier there. We'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> well, another idea is I've contemplated, you know, taking out two of them and replacing one of them and have Rockstay and then have myself as Bebop another day, but I don't think I'm going to do that part. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, really, the fun part I find about cosplay is just coming up with the ideas. And just sort of playing around with just the ways to do it. Especially when you think about it. Like Rocksteady, for that one to work out, you ended up going and getting yourself body painted twice now to make this work. So it's a, definitely a special occasion costume. Yeah. And it was fun to act out. Mm -hmm. Although nobody could hear me in that mask. <laughs> well, it is like thick rubber and foam. Yes, that I can agree. Um... It I look at it this way. The best looking costume for me, Rocksteady. But if you want to go time and effort, Spawn. For sure. Well, Blaze, thank you very much for talking with us again this time about the uh, cosplay from the Calgary Expo for 2017. Looking forward to 2018? Yep. And maybe I'll actually go to the Edmonton one because that's a goal of mine. I, I don't know when, but it will happen. Well, stay tuned. We'll be keeping in touch with you. All right. So I'm Jeff Johnson, your host for Game On, your best source for gaming news and talk.